Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're gonna be reacting to. A lot of you guys been spamming my DMs. Leslie's pregnant, Leslie's pregnant, Leslie's pregnant. You need to go react to the video. Hurry up. <laughs> so here I am reacting to the video, man. It's so funny because when I clicked on this video, I said, what if two things is happening here, right? I see her face, right? It's a lot of emotion in the face, right? And I was thinking one of two things. Either she's constipated and she needs to take a or she's crying tears of joy, man. I think it's the latter. So let's get into the video. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mama today, Uncle Joey still a hoe. Let's get right into the video. Let's get it, man. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. It's Leslie here, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, yeah. I know it's been a little while now, but I'm sure by the title of this video, you can quite understand a little bit what's been going on. Right, right. You guys are probably wondering, is this clickbait? She's lying. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure a lot of people are like, this can't be true. Mm. Um, the truth is, mm -hmm. I am pregnant. Man. And I am the happiest woman alive. That's I'm filled with so much. That's joy dope. and happiness and i've been so eager to let everyone know no. <laughs> that i'm pregnant because i hate keeping the secret this is my first time ever being pregnant so you know a lot of people say you have to just keep it to yourself for now don't tell everybody yet bro my bad y'all like i got this software on here right where i'm able to like film and react to the video at the same time but with the last update i don't know what happened y'all but my shit just starts freezing so i'm hoping they come out with another update that clears all of that but just bear with me on this man i don't know what the fuck going on but we're gonna make it happen bro so you know i did what i had to do to protect myself protect my pregnancy what it felt like forever really came by really fast and now i'm 14 weeks you in the clear and it felt like forever, but it did come by really fast. I guess what felt long really was letting all of you know this amazing news. Mm -hmm. So, I just, you know, for obvious reasons, I had to... Bruh, this shit is annoying as hell, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That I reached the safety zone before I shared the news to everybody. But I am pregnant, and I am so happy. My first trimester wasn't bad at all. For the most part, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I almost didn't feel pregnant this whole time. Still now, I don't feel really pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, I would say during the first trimester, um, I was really tired mm -hmm. and super sleepy and just hungry. But I know I hear a lot of stories about women being sick and being nauseous and throwing up all the time. Mm -hmm. I have not thrown up and I'm um, three months and a half. I don't like to say it a lot Lucky. because I feel like I'm going to get hit hard. What I am being hit hard with is a lot of backache. I'm having so much back pain, it's unbelievable. Mm. But I already know why, you know, my body is transforming, it's mm -hmm. making space for my baby, and mm. so it's expected. But I thank God that he's given me the strength. I just thank God that I'm not super sick. I thank God that I haven't thrown up, I'm not feeling nauseous. I did have like massive headache for like, Three days, I had like severe migraines, but in any case, the first trimester has been going really good for me, mm -hmm. and I'm so happy and blessed and thankful mm -hmm. to God for allowing me to have a really good first trimester. Mm -hmm. I've already gotten two ultrasounds, so that was like heartwarming. I just want to share with you guys how I found out I was pregnant, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm a little nervous because this is new and it, this is a big deal for me. As you guys know, my last video, I was in Jamaica. And I was having a blast. I had so much fun with my friends. And I realized that that entire month, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I hadn't gotten my period. Mm -hmm. And there was like five days left of the month or something like that. I knew I was late. I was probably like 11 days late. But I never worry about that because... There's been so many times that I've, I was 11, 15 days late mm -hmm. and my period will come. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't like the biggest concern to me. I was like, there's no way I'm late, you. whatever. This has happened to me before. Mm -hmm. And I remember one time I was 11 days late and I ended up buying a pregnancy test. I was like, just because I was dealing with somebody. I said, let me just check, even though like mm -hmm. I've been here before and it was negative. So since then on, like. Anytime that my cycle is late, I just really 
don't pay mind to it. But this time it was concerning me because the month was almost over. Mm. You guys know that I have PCOS and I suffer from long term cycles. My period lasts seven plus days. So it was 10, 12, 13, 14. Y'all imagine having a period that lasts over seven days is fucking crazy, bro. Ain't no fucking way in hell. Take me now, God. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the two fuck? months, three months. I can't even last a little two days. I'll be on mine, bro. That's how my period is. So for That's crazy. me not to get my period, what month was it, September? Yeah, I think it was September, extreme pregnancy break. But anyway, I think it was the month of September and it was like only five days left. And I said, this, this is not right. This, something is weird here because my period is not going to just last five days. Mm -hmm. That I said, when I got back home from Jamaica, um, I remember the first night I was talking to my best friend. And I was like, yo, something is not right. I haven't got my period. And he's like, you should order it on Uber. Order a pregnancy test and have them ship it to you. And I was like, mm, I could do that. I don't really want to do that right now. It's late. I don't want to go to sleep with that on my mind or whatever. And I was actually feeling super nauseous that night. And Ubering a pregnancy test is crazy. If you don't get your ass up and go get that shit. I guess it was just me overthinking and me just nervous and my anxiety was up the wall and I was I felt sick. Little did I know that in fact I was pregnant. Because mm -hmm. the next morning I ended up going to CVS and I picked up a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. And when I got home, obviously I took it. And the box I did clear blue and the box came with two pregnancy tests. So the first one came back error. It was like a line, like faded line or mm -hmm. something. I need so my like money I, back. I completely mm -hmm. screwed it up. When I took the other one, I was like, this time I'm gonna use a cup, be in a mm -hmm. cup, and then dip it in. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't wanna mess it up. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you had to pee for like five seconds or something like that. <laughs> But you did anyway, tinkle on the on thing? She did tinkle on the thing. Tinkled and sprinkled. Um, <laughs> not thinking much of it. And I was just sitting in the toilet talking to my mom. I just threw the pregnancy test like on top of the table. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. And I'm like looking at it. I see this loading. And I'm like, hmm. Just keep talking to my mom. And then I'm just still sitting in the toilet. And I look over and I see some words. Mm -mm. It wasn't lines. This pregnancy mm -mm. test didn't have lines. The second one actually had the digital. Mm -hmm. So I look, and it's like pregnant, mm. and I'm like, Ma, I'm pregnant, mm. and I just, you I start crying. Or anything. I was just, I just started crying. Mm -hmm. I, I was shaking. My whole body was shaking. My hands were shaking uncontrollably. Mm -hmm. Like I was in total shock. I couldn't mm -hmm. believe it. I was like, There's no way that I'm pregnant. How? How is this possible? How? How am I pregnant? And I was like, Mom, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. There's no way, there's no way. I just kept saying no way. I was just so in denial because this is this has never happened to me it's before. It's been a challenge for you. Um, you guys know that I have tried mm -hmm. for a long time. And I'm going to just say this, man. Like, a lot of you guys was telling me, you know, it's not whole sway. And I believe that's probably the best thing. That was in God's plan, right? If she would have ended up with whole sway as a baby's father, he barely take care of the kid he already got, right? And we was all saying, Leslie, you need to be careful because he, if he already neglecting his responsibilities with the one that he got, bro, you ain't going to be no different. So I'm really glad that it's not whole sway. I'm glad that she got another dude. Y'all was telling me that it seemed like a good dude or whatever the case is. I don't know if she's going to explain about the dude, but... Everything happens for a reason, man. You got to always know when you go through life, man, it might seem like life is happening to you. No, bro. Life is always happening for you. Always happening for you. I don't care what negative shit, seemingly negative shit you're going through, bro. Life is always on your side. God is always on your side. He's always moving and shaking shit, you know, up to set you up for a better future, to help you learn lessons that will create the person that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So you always got to keep that in mind. And I just never got to scare nothing. So, I'm going to show you guys now <laughs> that little clip of me oh, when shit. I took the test. Let's go. I was not at all prepared to Let's record go. myself to actually take the pregnancy test with everybody. You weren't ready. This was something that I really didn't think was going to happen. I just did it just because. <clears throat> yeah. But, 
<laughs> you I'm glad you did. I was not prepared to record myself and taking a test or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. I just figured. I figured I'd document this. I was on the phone with my mom. Um, she doesn't know much, but I just told her that um that I haven't got my stuff and I'm like a few days late, but this is something that's happened to me before where I've been late um eleven days or whatnot, but we're towards the end of the month. It's already September twenty sixth, I believe it is, or September, whatever. And I'm like, there's only five days left for the month and my cycle lasts seven days. That's I'm crazy though. That's wild, bro. So the first test I did, I just threw it out. God bless her heart, man. I did. I made an error. I didn't do it properly. I didn't pee enough for enough seconds. It was like a second, and I didn't realize that you need to pee for five seconds. So this time, I'm like, let me pee in a cup. She just tinkled on that bitch. It just got it back that I'm pregnant. Hey. I can't believe it. Congratulations, girl. Congratulations. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it would be possible, but I can't believe it. <laughs> Look, with God, all things is possible, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You gotta trust God and God's timing too. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people get frustrated, right? Shit ain't happening right when you want it to, but God is preparing you, processing, loading, just like that pregnancy test, right? He's loading the next season in your life. You feel me? So have faith, right? If you're going through something right now, have faith. God already has paved the way. You just got to let go and let him work. You continue trying to control shit, trying to figure out how this going to happen, how that's going to happen. Bruh, you're not leaving room for him to do his job. For him to work in your life. You know what I'm saying? You got to have faith. You got to have faith. Allow him to do what he's going to do. Do everything that you can in your power, right? Action-wise, visualization-wise, all of that shit. Make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do to meet God halfway. And then let it go. It's out of your hands at that point, bro. Stop trying to figure everything out. And let him figure it out. Figure it out. You know, I promise his way is way better than yours, bro. There's so many limitless possibilities that he is able to make things happen for you. That you can't even see, but your ego, right, makes you want to try to find this out, try to figure that out. Everything is not to be figured out. Everything is not a math equation. Right? I don't want to go too deep. I know this is a video about her pregnancy. Congratulations to, her. Congratulations to her. But, you know, I like to, you know, drop gems when I can. And I will say this. The school system, you know, programs us to believe that everything needs to be logical, that we need to figure everything out, bro, and then we try to... We try to solve our own problems in life the same way, and it doesn't work that way, man. You got to mix in a little bit of faith. But anyway. Pretty much I picked up my phone, and I was just like, let me just capture this moment, because this is a moment that I never want to forget. So, hey, um, I'm so happy for her, yeah, man. I was shaking so much. I was yeah. so nervous, and I just couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. I'm actually pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> like... I know you guys are probably just as shocked as I am. Mm -hmm. I was in awe and I was just crying and crying. It didn't come to my mind to go buy more tests. I did not think of it. The only thing I thought of, I need to go to the doctor's office now. <laughs> so I was on Google looking for, I was trying to go to my regular doctor, mm -hmm. but they were like closing and they didn't have any appointments available. So I keep looking, <clears throat> looking, looking, looking. And yeah. just nothing is available. Everything was about to close. Mm -hmm. I actually found a spot and it was like this pro-life choice. It was, I think it's called pro-life choices. I didn't know it was one of those clinics where pro-life clinic and against abortion kind of clinic. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I didn't care. As When I got there is when I noticed that it was that kind of clinic. I felt the vibes, the way they were talking to me mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Maybe if you guys want to know about that experience. I'd be more than happy to share with you. I just don't want to prolong the video too much. I did the pregnancy mm -hmm. test there. And as soon as I did it, she was with me. Um, was she with me in the bathroom? I think she was with me in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. But the results came back really quick. And she's like, yep, you're a mommy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, a mom? <laughs> I really couldn't believe it.
believe it. I really couldn't. And I was just like, yeah, this is confirmation I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't need any more confirmation because the test alone was enough for me because I've never experienced it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I found out I was Damn, pregnant. Damn, that's so dope. And I immediately told my parents, of course, and the people I talked to every day, which is my family and my best friends. And everybody was in complete shock. I was trying to hold it because the next day I was flying out to New York. And I wanted to just talk to my family in person, but I couldn't hold this joy, this excitement that yeah. I had. I really couldn't. It was like something that I had to express and let them know. Mm -hmm. I couldn't like bottle this up inside. Mm -hmm. I want to share with you all the reactions. And probably in another video oh, I'll shit. show you. First yeah. ultrasound, I'll probably share with you also too. Just stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, I'm pregnant. I'm so happy. I'm blessed. I never in a million years. I mean, I always had faith and I always prayed about it. Mm -hmm. I tell you this. Um, before I found out I was pregnant, probably like two weeks before I found out I was pregnant, I was praying, I remember. And I was praying, God, if I can't get pregnant, please show me what I look like pregnant in a dream. Oh. And I kid you not, oh, baby. three days straight, I was having dreams of me being pregnant. Mm. And every morning I was waking up calling my grandmother, my mom and my grandmother, because we like joint, we have like group FaceTime calls. Mm -hmm. And like all of us said, Ma, Abuela, I finally saw me in, in a dream, pregnant. Mm. I look so pretty, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. I remember having another dream that was kind of scary. It wasn't like a good pregnant dream. But um, I was having those dreams, and I was so excited. I felt so happy just to have those dreams, just to finally see myself pregnant. Because mm -hmm. for one, I never had a dream like that. A week later or two, I ended up taking a pregnancy test, and I ended up pregnant. So mm -hmm. this has been nothing but beautiful journey for me. I have been so happy, and I'm... Just to add on to what she said right there, man, it's so important. Like, if you want to manifest something in your life, see the vision of it, right? Visualize that shit. And you have to combine it with emotion. Like, what are the feelings you would feel if you got that desire? Like, imagine yourself living in that moment right now. and Imagine that's your, your future reality that you want. Imagine that that is happening right now. What emotions would you feel, right? Who would you tell? Who's Who would be the first person that you told when you manifested that, right? What are some of the things that you would do when you manifested it, right? All of these things that you should do to create whatever it is that you want to manifest, it'll speed the process up, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a simplified version, but I'm telling y'all, it will help you at least get on the path to where you want to go. I've been like <laughs> eager to share with everybody and not, I didn't want to hide it anymore. I want to show you guys. What I'm going through, my experiences. Um, That's lit. Everything that I've been eating for the babies. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I do want to share with you this journey. This is a miracle for me. This is the biggest blessing I've ever experienced in my life. It's mm -hmm. the greatest gift of all time. I feel like I'm the happiest girl in the world, literally. You guys know, well, most of you know who's been following me for a long time. And for those who don't know, and why this is so touching to me, is because I have PCOS. Mm -hmm. For a few years, over 10, 10 years, I lived with the idea that it was going to be so hard and I probably won't be able to be a mom. But, God. but PCOS is just really hard. And it's mm -hmm. not that you can't get pregnant. Um, it's just hard. Like mm -hmm. my parents would tell me. Um stop listening to the doctors mm -hmm. you're gonna have a baby mm -hmm. when god gives you the baby that's when you're gonna have the baby mm -hmm. and he was like trust in god trust in god which i did i always mm -hmm. kept my faith in god mm -hmm. i've always wanted to be a mom and that goes to show man you keep praying you keep having that faith in god like i was telling y'all man and like just never give up never give up the faith never give up the faith that's the thing bro like, yeah, you might think like, damn, is this ever going to happen? But like I said, it's always on God's time. You got to trust that God is going to come right on time. Got to trust that, bro. So it doesn't matter what it is in life that you want to manifest. If it's not coming right now, it's going to come. You got to keep putting in the work and keep having faith. Point blank, period. You know, that is what it is. You know, a mom for God knows how long I want to experience that. 
said and always said if you know me you guys know that i've always said i want kids before 30 and god has been listening to my prayers i'm relieved she to have shared it, this information with you so i can live freely and live my true self show my baby bump and all that i'm gonna show you guys what i look like now let me tell you for me i'm still not used to my body like this but i feel like i'm pretty big Yep. I'm gonna end this video now. I love you all so much. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for tuning in. Damn, y'all. Leslie's pregnant, y'all. That's crazy, bruh. That's crazy, bruh. But she was also visualizing. She was talking to God, too. She was feeling it, like seeing them dreams and shit. She was able to see herself and feel what it was like to be pregnant, right? And connect all of that. And guess what? She manifested that shit, bro. You know, so take something away from that if you can. Shout out to Leslie. Congratulations. You know, I'm super proud of you. Super happy for you. And, you know, let's just hope for a healthy baby for her. You know, boy or girl doesn't even matter. Let's just hope that she stays healthy and her baby stays healthy throughout the pregnancy, man. Shout out to her. Let me know what are your thoughts about Leslie being pregnant, man. Like, how could you not be happy for her? You know, especially knowing that all the challenges and everything she has went through to try to have a baby, bruh. And now is the perfect time, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell their ain't your mama, tell their uncle Joe. We still a hoe. We'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. And I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.